Welcome to Derby Line. And true to its name, it is right on the line, the Canadian border. This is downtown, sort of. Looks kind of run down. And this right here is Border Patrol Inspection Station. There's not a lot to it. But as you go right down the hill there, you are in Canada. So let's walk along the border here. There you go, go down the hill, and there you are in Canada. So this house here is in a in the US. And this is I guess Main Street. But what was unique about this place, what I don't know what the deal is now. But the library. Part of it was in America and part of it was in Canada. So you could actually walk into the library, cross the room, and be in another country. But things have changed rather dramatically. Look at this old house right here. There's not a lot going on. Look, there's a snowmobile on the front porch. You know you're in the North Country when that happens. All right, here's the library. And I came in one time and walked in there. That was pretty cool. And you could walk around in the yard of the library and you know, just go around the building and be in Canada. And there was no Border Patrol presence at that time. Look at it now, huh? That's a neat little house right there. And here it is, right here. I don't know the name of this library. But we'll go over and check it out. So, not sure where the border is. Maybe it's where those rocks are? That's probably it. Oh, it says Opera House. Opera House and Haskell Free Library. Let's see what's playing at the Opera House. It's a beautiful stone. Look at this. Granite. Welcome back. So what's unique about it is that it's in two countries. Wow, they're open. Well, let's go in. Hello. I'm taking a tour of your library. Uh, I'm sorry, you, are you a member? Now, where is the... Uh, borderline at are you a member no is this a public library well you can only uh enter the library if you're a member or if you oh okay i didn't know that i thought it was a public library no I'm, and they know that the, the tours are well they're probably looking at me now but yeah yeah okay well thank you for the you're information welcome. and if you come back you can book a tour and you can The structure was 
doubly unusual, not only straddles the United States Canadian boundary, but contains the rare combination of a library and a theater built between 1901 and 1904 as a gift from the Haskell family of Vermont. It testifies to the late Victorian belief in intellectual and moral benefits of education and arts. It's Queen Anne style, revival style. It was designed by James Ball. is typically a public libraries of that period. The second story opera house follows the accepted principles of 19th century theater design in ornate interior seats 500 people. This is really cool. I guess those boulders are the sporter. And they got a sidewalks open. This is a huge house and very elaborate. I don't know what the style is called. That federal. I'll have to check into that. Look at look at the garage. Look at this fancy bathhouse here. Restrooms, showers, solar panels. Oh, that's a solar water heaters on top. They have lean tos. That would be nice to have if you had a group. And didn't want to sleep in the rain or had to deal with the rain while you're fixing dinner. pretty much empty. I'm sure things will change come Friday. That will be the beginning of Labor Day weekend. This is Island Pond. Vermont. That's a cool old rail station. Train doesn't run through here anymore. Look at this, they have a covered walkway across the railroad tracks to the upper part of town.